Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome to today's Bitcoin update and guys if you're not in the Discord, join the Discord, the link is in the description of this video. And uh, so what's going on with Bitcoin right now, uh, we saw Bitcoin actually breaking out the upside and we have some nice good green candles. Is it going to go to $41,000 or not? We still don't know. At, at this point of time guys, I know green candles come in and, and, and I don't trust green candles that jump jump in all of a sudden okay now there is a bullish close um marubozo close i don't know what's the name of this one what i want to do is uh closing marubozo candle i guess that's the name of the candle and when it opens up something like this yeah that's kind of bullish Right, so this is a little bit bullish. There's something bull there is something bullish about this move. Okay, there is a little bit of bullishness about it. The volume is good, but still, um, there are some few things that I still want to see. Uh, we still have a few more days to close the month. Is it four days or five days? I want to see the monthly closing of. Yeah, we still have three more days to close. Um, the Vanguard opens up. Uh, you know closes in the next few moments the vanguard yeah even the vanguard is actually pumping the one that i showed you in yesterday's video it's this one right here but but there's a little bit of problems that with every coin at this point of time okay we still haven't got the structure to say it's a reversal one thing is very clear we still don't know that if the market wants to reverse from here but it's giving us the signs because in the next 13 hours, if you just close like this, then you're making up that long legged doji. And that's kind of bullish, all right? On the weekly, that's a little bit bullish. But it doesn't mean, still mean you're going to go all the way and start to make a bull run once again. It could be. But still, you're going to wait to confirm something. It, it could just be a very short lived one. And then you'd start to dump to the downside. What I'm going to do is bring in the weekly on the Vanguard as well. You're below. The 20 and the 55 for the very first time so this isn't gonna recover like very very easy but sometimes it can because the last time you did so what did you do you went to the downside and boom you recovered just like that all right so the same thing can can happen you know you go to the downside and then you just recover from them you start to move to the upside and you don't even dump way more down so uh, there is uh, there are a lot of things to really look out of you know you have to watch out for and is this gonna be the bottom and then it would be a good thing you know who doesn't want the bitcoin to start to recover and go to, to the upside that would be very nice but i'm just trying to look at things the first thing this is a closing marubozo candlestick so that's kind of bullish uh based on the books so if you do go to the bitcoin chart right now uh the four hour time frame that we saw has a bullish uh marubozu candlestick which is a closing one so this was the bullish one this was the bullish one right but the, its candlestick has played out i think so because the next candle actually turned green are we going to continue to the upside i don't know but, but bringing on the emas we still have the four hour ema actually restricting the prices and that's not good that's not what you want to see so uh, when you invest and you feel safe, it's probably that you're buying the green candles, right? And um, think again about it. Think again. If you're feeling safe right now, it's probably not safe. Because we're, when you're feeling bearish down there, that's when it was actually safe to enter. But still, enter with a confirmation. But what you're actually forming right now, nearly, we still have eight more minutes to close this candlestick. So either you just come down like this and make a bearish kind of two candles pattern i don't know the name but if you see a red candle sorry a green candle red candle that has the same size of the body as the green one that's bearish and uh if we actually this might be a hanging man as well and that's bearish so if you close in the next eight minutes near thirty eight thousand six hundred eighty eight then you're going to be making a hanging man and then from there you could potentially start to reverse to the downside otherwise if you start to get bullish of course you start you're really going to go to the upside but at this point of time I'm not making any judgments. I want to see the monthly closing. To me, this four hour time frame and one hour, two hour, three hour, guys, I'm not paying attention to that. What I'm really paying attention to is first of all, the weekly, you are below the EMAs really badly. 
you're really really below the EMAs and that's not a good thing just look at this you're about to make a cross with the 20 as well about to you haven't made okay remember that you haven't made you're about to make it and these are lagging indicators so I'm gonna hide them uh, number two thing is actually um, on the monthly and let's talk about the BLX on the monthly as well um, right so you are still not losing the 20 EMA which means that uh, the bull market is still on right the, the bull market is still on we're not still entering the bears you're really not entering the bears and by the uh, by three days if you start to close near 39,000 or 40,000 then in my opinion all you're doing is you're putting an inverted hammer and then from there if you start to pump the next month nearly to $48,000 then you're gonna put a nice good reversal in the morning star right so you're gonna be putting a morning star and then from here at least that's when you're gonna confirm that okay on the monthly at least we hold the 20 uh the vanguard potentially might have, might have also gone up and then from here you make a morning star and that means that this is the biggest uh, sign that the, the reversal is happening and potentially you're gonna continue all the way back to the all-time high as well Otherwise, if it, that if that one doesn't happen, man, then the technical targets are still to the downside, and there is a there's an issue about it, man. There's still an issue. I, uh, weekend is around the corner. Today's Friday, and such a day Sundays are not really that good when it comes to trading a coin. You have to be very very careful about it. So this is not going to be a very lengthy update right now, and I'm just going to leave it like this. And that's it for today's update. I'm going to see you with the next one. Allah Hafiz.